Hey everybody, it's your boy T-Red, and before you check out today's video, I want to let you guys know if you guys want a chance to win any of this great Yu-Gi-Oh! merchandise here, click the link on screen or in the link in the description below to get yourself entered into our giveaway. Now enjoy today's video. Peace. What's up everybody? It's your boy T-Red, and I'm back at you guys today with another Mystery Power Box video. Um, a lot of you guys love these videos. I love opening them, so it's kind of cool. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately... This is the last mystery power box I have. Um, I've looked for them at the stores. I think they were just like a one-time run. They're not restocking them or anything. So I think this is going to be the last mystery power box that I open on the channel, unfortunately. Um, if I do come across any more, you know, it might be something um, that, I, that we pick up or we open. Uh, but for now, this is pretty much the last one for the unforeseen future. Shout out to both of the great for the night. Um, so yeah, this is going to be kind of bittersweet here. Hopefully we might be able to pull something great um, out of this last box. Some of the things that we're looking for. We haven't actually got either one of these Thresher decks. I pulled both of those. That's pretty sweet. I pulled some graded cards. Haven't got the Cyber Stein, so that, you know, it's kind of is what it is. I don't think we're going to get that. I pulled a couple of these older packs. Um, I haven't pulled a Digusto Emerald out of the Battle Pack, the Battle Pack 3. Um, I've pretty much got all the play mats, so that's pretty much it. Um, while we're while we're on it right now, uh, I want you guys uh, show some love to the PO box if you want. I have a couple letters that I just got in um, in a package, so I'll probably be doing a crew mail, which is our you know subscriber mail uh, video soon. So um, I think Dante, I think I do have your package here. Uh, I know you've been messaging me about it, so I think I have it. So, anyways, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump into this um, bittersweet here, the last package. Hopefully it'll be fire since it's the last one we have. Um, let's try to make it kind of a mystery of what we get in there. Okay, as always, guys, we have our, our five packs of Monster League Battle Pack 3. Ooh, we got a Quantum, Quantum Cat map. This is uh, one of my favorite mats in the set. Sweet. <clears throat> let's go ahead and jump into... I'm going to try to keep them all glued together when I open them, just because in the past, if I try to separate them, they just get all torn up. So here we go, guys. Curse of Anubis. Mirror Wall for our Shatterfoil and a Night Day Griffer. And we got a Ghost Rick Jack for all, so that's kind of cool. I almost put the Mirror Wall on the top. So basically the only card I'd like to pull out of this, I think we've pretty much got every all the other good cards over the last, I think I've had like maybe 12 of these boxes total. I think Smitty opened one and then I opened 12 or something. It's been over the course of like the last few months that I've opened all these. Um, so, uh, Cetius of Dalgla, Trident uh, Warrior, uh, Skelosaurus, Time Escaper, and Evil Swarm O'Lantern. So we got three packs left. Man, it seems like I'm not, I'm not trying to bend these, but they, they're just bent anyways. I don't know. Ready for intercepting. Koeki Miru Sandman. Koeki Miru Guardian. Swords of Revealing Light. And Gonogo. Okay, guys. Two packs left. We need, some, we need some love here. Let's see. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Zero Gravity, X Saber, Airbellum. If this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, discard one random card from your opponent's hand. Hmm. Cookie Mirror Drago. Last pack. Here we go. Come on, Digusto. That was super hard to open like that. Konami, man. Use, use better glue, man. Come on. We gotta be able to take it apart. No entry. Tackle Crusader. Telekinetic Shocker. Miracles Wake. And Freya Spirit of Victory. Huh. So. No die gusto. Fill around what kind of goodies we got in here. Drago Bronco, Drago Bronco, the Olios Azus. 
I don't speak Portuguese, so or whatever that is. We got another one. So we've had we have two blue eyes and three dark magicians in first edition from that. Oh, here we go. We get haunted by this number hunters again. Last time I pulled the number 54 Lion, Lionheart, so maybe we can do that again. Gimmick Puppet Egghead, Chakra, Battle Warrior. It's a pretty cool card. Gimmick Puppet Twilight Joker and No way. Are you serious right now? Um, what? I gotta get the sleeves out. This is like the best card in the set. It's not worth very much, maybe like five or six dollars. But to me, say I pulled it, maybe we can get it again and we pull it. Come on, man, smack that like button, please. Come on, man, that's crazy. Wow. Come on, we're going out with a bang for this, for this last box. Come on, baby, let's get some. We got a Symbols of Duty. These, these older cards feel so weird. I feel like they're glossed over. Judgment of Light. Here we go, guys. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta, we gotta get some good hollows here. We got to. We have to. This is the Konami crew. We have to. Star... Surf, Sword, Googly Eyes, Drum Dragon, Vertical Landing, Flying Sea, V Salamander. Oh, no hollow. So, Fenting Fire Ferret, Umbral Horror Ghoul. That is terrible. Okay, guys. Is it a structure deck or is it a special edition? Comment down below. Don't, don't, pause the video. Comment down below if this is a structure deck or a starter deck. All right. It's a starter deck, Lost Sanctuary. It was sealed at one time. The glue blew out. It's the one with Master Hyperion. I've actually opened this on the channel already. So if you wanna, uh, I'll probably save this for a future giveaway or something. Uh, wow, I was really hoping we'd get something a little bit, I mean, it's a good deck, it's five Ds, it's cool. But it's first edition at least. But I was really hoping for our last box we'd get something crazy. We pulled the number 54 Lionheart, which is insane to me because I called him out and we got him. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this Mystery Power Box video, please let me know by commenting down below and dropping a thumbs up on this video as well. Share it with your friends or whatever, you know. Um, spread the love. Who knows if this gets enough love, I might go and maybe try to hunt around my area and, you know, drive. And, and drive like a hundred mile, you know, radius trying to find mystery power boxes. And that might be a video. It might be a card on video where I go hunt for mystery power boxes uh, for you guys. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you if you uh, like that by telling me in the comment section below. Like I said, show me some love to the PO box. It's in the uh, description below if you want. You don't have to, but if you do want to, then that'd be cool. Um, as well as shout out to everybody who supports me on Patreon. Um, they're, they're in the description below. So if you see, if you look in the description below, see their names, and you see them comment on the video, look, like their like their stuff, you know, and show them some love because they do support the channel. Um, other than that, stay on the lookout for the sneak peek this weekend at Circuit Break. I will have at least five packs, maybe more. I'm not sure yet. Um, so be on the lookout for that on the channel. If you're new, subscribe. You gotta subscribe. Uh, I mean, come on, we're doing giveaways. We're we're having fun. Um, I'm gonna go go to Smitty's house and throw eggs at him. I'm just playing, but anyways, um, as always, it's your boy T Red from the Konami Crew, and I'm out. Pieces.